Good morning, children. Praise the Lord. We meet again today. Stay happy and healthy in this new day. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning. Taken from Jesus is the best and faithful friend book written by Pastor Maralap Sagala. Our topic for today is Excuses to Refuse the Invitation. Before we proceed, Shall we start with a prayer? Thank you, Lord, for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from Luke chapter 14, verse 18. It says, but they all alike began to make excuses. The first said, I have just bought a field, and I must go and see it. Please excuse me. Children, the parable of the great banquet portrays the rejection of the Israelites and the Jews of the invitation of God's love to them as special people. It was conveyed when Jesus was still at the house of a Pharisee leader at a banquet. There was a similar parable that Jesus conveyed. It was called the marriage feast, but it was taught at a different time and there was also a different story. In this parable, told at the house of the leader of the Pharisees, Jesus said that not one of those who were invited will get a taste of my banquet. Luke 14 verse 24 It means that it's Jesus who was mean to make the great banquet. The invitation was an invitation to the gospel feast. Those invited were the Jews throughout Old Testament times. It refers specifically to God's repeated appeals to Israel through prophets of old. Actually, the Pharisee was the one of those who, at the very moment, were rejecting the gospel invitation. It means that the parable that Jesus told was aimed at the Pharisees, including those who were having the banquet, but they would not enjoy the banquet of the Lord. The excuses made by all who were invited to apologize were to portray the nature of the nation of Israel, especially the Pharisees. Its prospective guest contrived his own pretext. The invited guest found himself more interested in something else. The excuses implied also lack of appreciation for the hospitality and friendship of the man who gave the feast. Children, that is what was happening in the meaning of the parable. It's also a warning and a lesson for us. Is it possible that we also can be like the Pharisees portrayed in the parable, often making excuses for God's call. Or maybe we often don't appreciate the kindness of God, whereas He wants to make us His friends. Jesus said, You are my friends 
If you do what I command. John 15 verse 14. So children, we must appreciate God and all of his kindness as well as his gospel invitation. This is the end of our morning worship. May the Holy Spirit help us to appreciate God and all of his kindness as well as his gospel invitation. May the Lord bless and protect all of the children on this wonderful day. Amen. <music>